hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all and let's get to it so word on the street is y'all prince harry y'all is on his way he's gearing up to go back home to the palace again all right y'all now they're saying that the reason why he's going home is because y'all Papa Bear ain't doing so good. King Charles is, his health is failing. This is what they're saying. So whatever it is that, you know, the treatments and this and that and that and this, apparently they're not working. And word on the street is coming from, you know, reliable sources that's close to the, you know, the king and all of this stuff. They're saying right now that, you know, um, they're, not letting the public know what's really going on basically okay y'all this is what they're saying they're saying that king charles really is unwell this is how they're putting it y'all okay um a new report claims that those closest to king charles believe he is more ill than previously announced charles um was diagnosed with you know cancer early in the year and remains under doctor's care however Sources claim he is really, really, really ill right now, y'all. And um, they're scared. The palace is a mess right now, y'all. And I hate to say this, but I'm going to just say it. But after what happened to Diana, okay, y'all? And yes, I call her Queen Diana. And I know people that's from the palace probably listen, you know, Listen in because people be coming in my comment section. You don't even know. She ain't even the queen. You call her what y'all want to call her. I call her what I want to call her. Okay, y'all? So leave me alone when it comes to that. I am always forever going to say call her the queen. And if you don't like it, uh, bounce. That's all you got to do. Okay? You don't have to correct me in the comment section. I know what y'all got on paper and say who is the queen. But I just can't. Get with the home record, okay, y'all? Just because you want to act as if it didn't happen, I don't do that, okay, y'all? Now, King Charles is letting certain people think that he is determined to get better and he knows that he's going to get better and this and that, that and this. But the Daily Beast, okay? Royalist correspondent Tom Sykes shared details surrounding the king's health. Okay? And his sources claim that the king is determined to regain the vitality he enjoyed before a January 2024 cancer diagnosis. Everybody that gets cancer feel that way. They do. But the fact that his son is scrambling and they are trying to get back to him, you know, his son is trying to get back there to him, to be by his side and this and that and that and this, something ain't working. Some people, you know, they bounce back when they start doing treatments. Some people start doing treatments and things get worse. Because they put in more, you know, stuff in you to try to fight the stuff that's in you. Okay, y'all? And some people bodies can't take it. And they're saying that he's looking really, really ill right now. He's not doing too well. Sykes Royal Sources says that the king current health is not good. This is what they're saying, that it is not good. The author claims to have spoken to friends of those within the royal circle who expressed their concern about Charles' well-being. Of course, he is determined to beat it, and they throw everything at it. Everyone is staying optimistic. But he is really, 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 really very ill right now. This is what they're saying. More than they are letting on. So they're letting the public think that, oh, he's moving around. He's doing this and that and that and this. But it's not looking good. It's not. And 
the palace is in shams right now y'all seriously it really is and i just can't help but wonder is a part of that because of how diana was treated i'm just gonna throw it out there seriously it's no happily ever after for none of them right now. For this generation right now that's in position, they not happy. For the next generation that's to come take his place, his life is in shams right now. Because there is some type of cover up of what and where and who and when and why his wife have not been seen in months, y'all. And the fact that you got to put out all these lying stories to try to cover your track, it lets you know that something just ain't right about this whole situation, y'all. Everybody after Diana, after Queen Diana passed away, a lot of people went on about their life like it didn't even happen. They act like it didn't happen. And... I just feel like it's some of this stuff is some karma floating around the palace, to be honest with y'all. I really do. It's so much stuff, back to back to back stuff that's taking place right now that don't make no sense. Even, you know, the members that got caught up in that Epstein, the island stuff, all kind of stuff, okay? It's just been back to back to back to back. Now, um, claims of an old friend of the family to the Daily Beast, Sykes validates this comment by stating this same source shared cor correct information regarding Queen Elizabeth's cancer battle in the months before she passed. So it's the same source. It's coming from when, you know, Qu Queen Elizabeth was sick and other people were saying this and that and that and this, but this source was giving out some accurate information. Well, this source right now is giving out some accurate information, y'all. They're saying as King Charles battles cancer, preparations are ongoing for his demise. They're preparing for this man passing. This is not, you know out of the norm because when you know it's going to happen you know there's nothing you can do about it so people kind of prepare themselves for it but this is what they're saying right now that's going on it says it is not unusual for preparations for a monarch's passing to begin once they are in the ruling role it is standard within the royal family to have a plan in place for mourning and the transition of power and I don't see how the next power is going to come in until they tell the truth about what's going on with Kate, y'all. And if that's true, that they took some type of body part off this woman to give to that man and it still did not go through and it rejected him. They just put this woman through some mess. And it still didn't even work. I said this in the last video. This is sad. The Daily Beast reports that plans are ongoing for Operation Mania Bridge. I hope I said that right. This is the code word for King Charles funeral plans, y'all. They're getting ready for his passing, y'all. Preparations for a monarch's funeral are typical once a monarch rises to power. They are a part of the ongoing details that their position incurs. From the moment the queen become monarch, the planning process about what would happen when she passed started. Um, I know this is probably true what they're saying, but at the same time, I do believe that more ongoing planning is going on right now for the simple fact that his health is failing and it's, it's, he's deteriorating bad and fast. This is what they're saying. Ongoing planning meetings between the palace. Let me put the king up here. Because the sons is on. He One of the sons is on his way right now to, you know, getting ready to go back to see daddy. His daddy. Okay, y'all? And be there, you know, for whatever is about to take place. 
Um, they're also talking about ongoing planning meetings between the palace, government, police, and military officials are the norm. They're saying this is normal, but people that's close to him is saying it's not looking good, y'all. Royal Arthur character Henderson told the Daily Beast King Charles reign will be will by definition be short, but it's anyone's guess at this time just how short. In the meantime, the tried and true practice of revising funeral plans should not be used to make that determination. So they still trying to you know, get people to kind of calm down, da 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 Because at the same time, they got this going on, y'all. You know, the people is pushing to, where's Kate? Where's Kate? Where's Kate? This is the people over there. They they want to know where's Kate, okay? Um, They're trying to figure out what's going on. This is tripped out. I'm going to tell y'all this, though. I'm going to tell you this. If Kate does not come to this funeral, y'all, that they prepping for. That they want people don't want people to know they prepping for. If Kate don't come to this man's funeral, you already know that Kate is not here anymore. I'm just gonna put that out though. If she don't come out because they they acting like, oh, one minute they saying she ain't there, one minute they saying this, one minute they saying that, she's not here anymore, da da da. If she do not come to this man's funeral. You already know, y'all, that something really bad happened to this woman. And I find this so very odd, y'all. I truly do. I find this so odd that this woman, y'all, got cancer at the same time as her father-in-law and they both fell ill at the same time y'all I, I this is something weird to me which makes me wonder is this what it's really about like i i have doubts about all of this because this is odd that two people that's not even blood relatives i mean be ill to the ood okay y'all i don't know what to say no more okay <laughs> y'all but I just find it odd that they they are about to be two alleged funerals basically at almost at the same time. They got sick around the same time and announcements came almost at the same time. Just everything at the same time, y'all. Like, come on now. Something is not adding up with this whole situation at all. And I don't know if they're trying to cover up something, something sinister that possibly Williams could have done. But whatever it is, it has to come out sooner or later. You cannot keep hiding it. It just has to come out. And I think that that's why he's partially so stressed too, because he know that everybody gonna be on him when they really finally tell the truth about what really they went down with this woman right here. I think that Williams is afraid of how the people is going to feel about him, knowing that he possibly she been already gone a long time ago. That's number one. Knowing that she possibly went out and you know. A way that she shouldn't have. There's so many doubts in everybody's head. Even about the whole cancer thing. Yo. Because they don't even know if that's true. They feel like that's just an excuse that they're going to use. So that when they say. Oh she didn't make it. Because this is what everybody is expecting right now. And uh, to be honest with y'all. I wouldn't be surprised. If they didn't say. She passed away. When. When. She, I'm just saying, the king passes away. Like, oh, she didn't make it either. So that they can have their funeral together. Because they always be pushing these two together. And I'm just wondering, y'all. Is they going to just go ahead and just, you know, is this what they are about to do? Seriously. They're still lying now saying that the daddy is, and everybody is saying he's walking around just getting paler and you know weak looking and this and that and that and this losing weight all of that stuff so i know that's not good if you get some treatments and you're losing weight and 
You know what I'm saying, y'all? Looking just really, really bad. That's not good. And this Prince Williams guy, the truth will set you free, honey boo boo child. You're going to have to let it out of what is going on with your wife, y'all. They they saying all, many, all, all kind of stories, saying that she is in a, 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 a section of the palace that, you know, is kind of, you know, not a really good place for her to be. It's a cold place area. All of that alone tells you that this woman could not be here anymore. And they just preserving her right now. Like they was doing Bobby Christina and keeping her just breathing on a machine. Like a machine breathing for her. But something is going on. And somebody going to have to tell something. Because that's, I think that's why he's so stressed out. They said that this guy be pasting. Um, he come out for appearances and people ain't believing nothing he's saying. He's not himself. If somebody say something or offer him something to, you know, condolences, a card or something to give to Kate or whatever. He gets upset about it. Like, what's really going on, y'all? But I'm going to tell y'all this. I do believe that this is about to come to a head real soon. I think that once Prince, well, I'm going to say King Charles, you know, I ain't trying to rush it, but this is what the people are saying. They're preparing for it right now. Once he passes away, I think they're going to go ahead and say that she's gone too. I, I think they're not going to prolong this anymore. Because this is kind of holding them back too. By trying to just, you know, keep the public at bay. When everybody knows there's something more serious is going on right now. Really, really serious. The fake videos, the fake pictures, the all of the fake, the fake, the fake, fake, fake. It's, it's about to come to a head in a minute. And I just truly believe that they might just, you know, have both of their funerals at the same time. This is what I'm starting to think right now. I don't think they're just prepping for his funeral. I think they're prepping for hers too. To be honest with y'all. And something is really, really, you know, taking a dark turn. She she didn't weigh that much in the first place, y'all. She's really slim. She's a very slim woman. She's very, she's very pretty, but she's very slim. She looked like she weighed about, what, 70 pounds? 80? I don't know. I can't even say 80, but maybe about 70 pounds. That's what she looked like looking at her, but she might be tall, which make her weigh a little bit more. But once somebody is that small already, and if the treatments, if this is what happened, because I still don't believe it, okay, y'all? But if this is what they want to tell everybody, if the treatment is not working, like they're acting like things are not working out, just like what, you know, the king, the treatments is not working. They're saying he's showing signs of wear and tear, and he is losing weight. Can y'all imagine her losing, losing 10 pounds? I'm just saying. It's not looking good. But anyway, y'all, um, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I think that there's a dark cloud over the palace right now, and it's going to be there for a while. Until that, um, I'm just saying, the new woman that, you know, the king called herself married until she is gone at the palace. I think it's going to be a dark cloud over that palace until she's gone. That's my personal opinion. I don't think anything is going to go right for them until she's gone. To be honest with y'all. The way that woman was taken out and the way she was treated. The way her husband did her. With the mistress on the side. And then you turn around and marry her. And then your own son is accepting her. I don't think. I don't think that. The, the son that's on his way to visit. I don't think that. He ever accepted that other woman like that. But William did. William act like. Oh mama this and mama that. 
new mama bear in the, in the palace. I just don't think they're going to have any type of good luck like that until she's gone out that house, out that palace. And then maybe things will change for them. But as long as she called herself in somebody else's shoes that she could never feel, I don't think they're going to have any luck. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Um, just wanted to give y'all an update that they are prepping for this man's funeral right now, y'all. They're saying he's doing bad. Just wanted to give y'all an update. Anyway, um, please like, share, and subscribe if you liked this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Prayers up for the kids. Prayers up for the kids because I know that they are going to be going through some stuff. You know, I'm just saying. With the mama bear not being, you know, there or whatever. I don't even know where she is, okay? Um, and then the grandpa, too. So, prayers are for those kids right now. Because they're the ones that's going to suffer the most. Everybody else is grown, okay? But I think those kids are going to have a hard time um, dealing with this. And they are going to need somebody that's going to be there for them. That's going to help them get through all of this mess. Okay, y'all. But anyway, um, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching. Peace.